to you Hank and Aiden's youth with my beloved Tube. I have a pedal to show you today. So let's take a closer look at it, shall we? It's from Broken Audio Devices. It's called the Twin Turbo Fuzz. And I love it! Okie dokie, so here we are. The Broken Audio Devices Twin Turbo Fuzz. I have to thank Broken Audio Devices for sending me this pedal to review. This is a monster pedal. That's what this is. Absolute evil. If you don't, if you can't get your fuzz fix out of this pedal, there's something wrong, I tell you. So what is it? Basically you've got, it's very simple. You've just got three fuzzes in one pedal. Uh, number one acts as like an overall volume. You've got number two, which is kind of like adds to number one. And number three is like a kind of a, from what I can hear, it's like, a, it's almost like a different type of fuzz and it's like a nasty and gnarly of fuzz. I'll show you that in a sec. But I like it with one and two maxed out. But unfortunately that makes it really loud. But that's fine. I don't mind that. It, this this pedal be a pedal that you would turn on when you need it and turn it off as soon as you're done with it, kind of thing. So the noise isn't really an issue. So uh, what I thought I'd do is I'll roll back fuzz two to zero, and then um, I'll show you some of the combinations of the different fuzzes. So like say one and three, and then and then one and two, and then all of them together. Because number one has to be on at all times. It's like a master, so to say. So number one has to be on at all times. You can't run two and three without one. Oh my God, all these numbers. Anyway, uh, so let me show you some uh, more noises out of a twin turbo fours by Broken Audio Devices. Really, really cool pedal. Okay, okay. so uh, just saying now, I'm running through the Flexi today. It's a bit of a difference. I'm only gonna run through the overdrive channel as all of you well know by now, I don't like running fuzzies through clean channels. I'll show you through the clean channel at the end, but I don't particularly like it. It's not really my cup of tea. I mean, I'm sure it is somebody's out there, but and I'll show. That's why I'll show you. But I don't particularly like it. So I'm running it for overdrive one today. Uh, I've got the gain on ten, uh, bass on five, middle is on zero, troubles on zero, controls on zero, volumes on ten, and I've got reverb at two. So it's just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit real, not too much, and a little bit, you know, a bit broken up. Jim Hendrix, Voodoo Child. You know, really nice kind of bluesy, kind of uh, stratty overdriven sound. I'm also going to switch to the Lemon Drop as well, that you hear with Humbuckers. But that's my uh, kind of core sound, so to say. And that pedal over the top sounds amazing. So uh, I'm just going to show you Fuzz 1 to start with. I'm just going to crank them. I'm going to have to crank them because I can't, there's no other setting for a fuzz pedal for me, I'm afraid. It just has to be on max or not at all. You crank it or you don't bother. <laughs> anyway. Great, great, great demoing day. Anyway, moving along. So this is just um, fuzz one. So this is on all the way. Fuzz two and fuzz three are all the way down. So this is just um, fuzz one. And again, like I said earlier on, this is a pedal that you turn on when you need it and turn it off when you don't want it. It's a lot like the DS2, uh, which I'll get to in another video at some point. Uh, it's a pedal that when you want it, you turn it on. As soon as you're done with it, you turn it off because it's very, very noisy. Um, you know, you can get around it. It's not too hard. I have an obsession with doing that. Stop doing that. Anyway, fuzz one. <laughs> turn it off uh, when you don't need it you know it's a lot easier when it's at your foot let's put it that way so that's fuzz one it's a very kind of it's almost like a clean boost fuzz one it's really cool it's very subtle fuzz it's a lot like um the double muff the electro harmonics double muff palette it's a lot like that in the fact it's not it's not like a fuzz face or like a double muff or anything like that uh, or a big muff even it's not it's not that kind of fuzz it's a bit more of a transparent fuzz overdrive if you, if you will so it's really really nice that number one it's only it's really cool but adding fuzz two in all the way up is my happy place <laughs>
that's it. Goodbye, see you later. I sold. No more is needed. No more is needed. One and two together is just that fat, smooth, warm sound that I absolutely adore to death. I love it. Absolutely love it. So those those two are just that's me done. That's me done. Absolutely done. But I will continue because it's not just about what I want, which is important. Anyway. Uh, turning number two down now, turn number three up. This is where it gets nasty. This pearl turns nasty. It's got a dark side and uh, this is it. So now I've got number one up and number three up all the way. So one and three are engaged, number two is off. So it sounds like this. <laughs> nasty gnarly side it's, it's it's like a, almost an octavia almost an octavia it's got this kind of weird kind of high-end fuzz so now all three together sounds like this let's do something in c sharp favor of it but it's very cool i love one and two on together number three adds that kind of like nasty gnarly thing which is really really cool um you know if you kind of want that kind of really aggressive harsh kind of sound it's really cool to have uh, and it'd be really cool for like recording because you can get different kind of like tones out of one pedal which is really really cool but one and two together neck pick up on a strap <laughs> So, to the 11 drop, uh, exact same setting, something changed, uh, this is overdrive 1, uh, show you it with just one on its own actually, so this is just fuzz 1 on the turbo, uh, twin turbo on its own, so uh, number, two and, number 2 and 3 are off. It sounds 
fat with onlookers, I'll tell you that for free. So, uh, add it, actually, I'm going to add number three in first. So this is the harsh, harsh sound of the twin turbo. <laughs> Nastiness is a lot more um, pronounced with um, quite now I say uh, the nastiness kind of sound on, on that third fuzz is a lot more kind of prominent with a single coil. It, it's more kind of uh, yeah, but definitely yeah. I kind of think it's like the word is that it's just more pronounced. It's more there, so to say. When you go to a humbucker, the mid-range kind of push of a humbucker, and you know, it, it just kind of like uh, smooths it out. So it kind of gets rid of that, which is kind of um, not as fun in my opinion. But anyway. Uh, so that's number one and three. Uh, now I'll do my favourite. One and two. Now this is really, really cool. I love this. Look, it's it just, it just ridiculous. <laughs> Again, I'm just done. It, on neck pickup, it's just that fat, smooth sound that I absolutely adore so much. I just. Yes, just yes, yes, yes. Let's play more. ridiculous that is ridiculous it just does that thing that i i want it to do ah! i really love the combination of one and two i absolutely adore that combination with any guitar i plug into it especially a strat neck pick up on a strat and a kind of slightly over driven kind of sound ah good gravy okay um i'm going to show you now with one and two on full uh, on on full whack fours through the clean channel of the uh, the flexi. So this is just the clean sound. <laughs> Weird sound! 
I've tried it through the clean channel once, but I tried it with a strap, and obviously the humbuckers and snow they react totally different to fuzz pedals. They're like, yes, I love you. I don't, I don't know what's gonna. But that is bizarre. I've never heard, I haven't heard that sound. I, that didn't come out with a strap. Again, I don't like running fuzz pedals through clean channels. I think it, I think they're, they're best suited to kind of like having that already kind of overdriven kind of bite, you know, you know, that having that kind of grit there all together, they just sit nicer on top, you know, with the compression and everything that the overdrive gives. But sometimes you come across that, which is just bizarre and really, really, really cool. Really cool. Anyway, like I said, I'm in love with one and two. Just ridiculous. And you can dial them in either way, kind of like you can dial in more of like less of three, more of two, and this and the other. But I feel this, for me anyway, this pedal really benefits from having more cranked. Because then you get kind of get the extreme of what it does instead of it's kind of like, it's a lot like an Octavia. Uh, it's like like the fur coat from Orange, where you can kind of dial it in. It's really, really cool, and like, but to get the full effect, you need to kind of dial the effect all the way around to get the, the full Octavia effect on the fur coat. And that's the same I feel with this, kind of everything, if you crank everything, you get the full effect. And especially if you're with an overdrive kind of sound, with different guitars, it sounds immense. But it's definitely a pedal that you want on um, when you need it, and when you don't want it, kind of turn it off, so to say. Because uh, it is a noisy pedal, but again, you know that's not an issue for a clean channel. It's, you know, it's. Uh, what, where's the clean channel? Is that the clean channel? That's the clean channel. Yeah, it, it's fairly quiet. So, but again, I would recommend you turn it off and on when you need it, kind of thing. But I would recommend it as a pe fuzz pedal. It's cool. It's really cool. And number one and two, if you've got a strap, you're quids in, in, in my, my, my opinion. And it looks cool. It looks super cool. Well made, awesome fuzz pedal. It's more of a fuzz overdrive, I would say, apart from number three, actually, which is definitely immense fuzz. And when you run for a clean channel, you can really hear the fuzz characteristic of it. But um, it's got that fuzz overdrive thing, which I love. But yeah, awesome, awesome pedal. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, anyway, uh, on the Twin Turbo Fuzz by Broken Audio Devices. I'm a bit rushed today, unfortunately, so that's why I might be a bit like, oh, frantic, and let's get it, you know, let's get into it and do that, let's do that. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, pedal anyway, and I hope you enjoyed the sounds it makes. Uh, link to the website is below. Thank you very much, Broken Audio Advices, for sending me this pedal. It's awesome. I love it to bits. Number one and two. That's it. That's it for me. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm done after that. As soon as I plugged it in and heard that sound, that was it. That was me done. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again very soon for another one. Have a great morning, afternoon, and good evening. Goodbye now. Ha ha ha.